Good morning everyone. My name is Achyutra Mola. Today our group is going to perform a play titled The Cruel Mother-in-Law which is taken from the famous Jataka Tales. In this, Adya is playing the role of mother-in-law, Anjika as daughter-in-law, Anushka as witch one, Ahana as witch two and myself as the same. Once upon a time there was a mother-in-law. She was a shrew and a very cruel woman. Her daughter-in-law was a kind and noble woman. The old shrew always harassed her daughter-in-law. She was never allowed to take rest and live in peace. The old tyrant drove her like a slave. The young woman's life was full of woes and miseries. The mother-in-law always was picking out her faults. One day, the old woman ordered, Look, I am going to the temple. Cook food after washing dishes and make sure that the food is enough for us and nothing goes waste. You are careless and wasteful. This is not your father's house. Okay, mother, I will do all the things. The old woman left. After washing dishes, the young woman quickly got down to cook food because if the food was not ready by the time on returning of the mother-in-law, she would create a scene. Meanwhile, Bhikshan Dehi Who's there? The young woman was very religious-minded. Oh, She respectfully got the sadhu seated and served him food. God bless you, my dear child. As the sadhu began eating, the mother-in-law returned. Ha! So you were just waiting for me to depart from here so you can waste all the food in feeding all the dogs of the world. You are a thief! Mother, don't say such horrible things. There is no food wastage. I have given him my share of food. Some share? Stop beating like a deep pig and get out of here. Hey silly woman, you make me angry. I will give a curse to you. You will die in burning fire. I don't care, just leave. The sadhu angrily walked away. And you, also The enough. old woman banged the door shut on her face. She pleaded mother, some more, please, but the like cruel that, old woman remained cold as ice. Mother, mother, please open the door, mother. At last, she staggered away to go to her parents' home, which was two days' journey away. How she would be able to reach there, she knew not. She just decided to keep walking till she fell down. It's too dark now, and my mother's place is far away from this place. And I am feeling too tired. What should I do now? There is a mat. Nobody is around. I think I should rest here for some time. Incidentally, that mat belonged to two flying witches. The two returned. One of them spoke. mat was up in the air flying. The mat flew over the seas and descended on an island that looked golden yellow. This place is so nice. Come, let's enjoy it. Come, let's go there. The witches went away flying to enjoy the air tour of the place. The young woman woke up and was stunned. Where am I? Where am I? Gold! Everywhere gold! Is that real gold? The 
the young woman examined the yellow sand. It was sand of gold. She gathered as much sand as she could in the pallu of her sari and hid herself on the mat. After some time, the witches came back and they all returned flying the mat home. The young woman rushed back to her home. This was certainly been mother's heart and sympathy. She told the entire story to slit-eyed old woman and showed the gold dust. Mother, see, I have brought gold for you. You silly lazy woman. Why did you bring a bag full of it? You left behind all that gold. The old woman examined the gold in her hand and rebuked. I will show you how the gold is brought home. Show me the mat. Okay, then I will show you where is that mat. The old woman sat on the mat and the witches returned from somewhere. I feel like eating fish. Let's go to the fish island. The twin mother-in-law's foot landed on a fish and she slipped badly. When the witches returned, the old woman yelled at them. You disgusting good-for-nothing witches! What was the idea of coming on this island? Go to the gold island at once. I have to gather gold dust. Her talk made the witches very angry. That old crow woman came to a magical mat without seeking a permission. And to add to its insult, she is calling us by names. Let's go to the fair island. We'll burn this evil woman there. The mat zoomed in the air and after some time it was flying over Far Island where there was fire all around below. The witches started tilting and badly shaking the mat to toss down the old woman. Ah! Ah! No! 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 Ah! No! <laughs> the moral of the story is that humanity is the religion of mankind. We should respect all and never treat anyone as inferior and be content with what we have. Greed is a fat demon with a small mouth and whatever you feed it, it is never enough.